I want to take a look at some of my favorite keyboard shortcuts. So if I'm working in this document here and my cursor's at the beginning of the line, I'm working on a small laptop keyboard. So I don't have the home and end buttons that you might have on a full-size keyboard. So there's a great keyboard shortcut you can use to replicate the functions of home. So if I'm at the end of the line and I want to go back to the beginning, keyboard shortcut is command and then left pointing arrow and back to my document. It takes me right back to the beginning and the other arrow command right arrow takes me to the end of the line. So that's a great way to replicate the home and end buttons on your keyboard. Another one I use a lot is spotlight search. That's the magnifying glass up in the top right hand corner, but the keyboard shortcut for that is command spacebar. So your keyboard shortcut for spotlight search is command spacebar. When I hold down command and tap spacebar, it opens the spotlight search up. Um, I could type in a file name, a program name. It's a great way to access. If I type in Word, for example, it will take me in and open up Microsoft Word. You know, if there's something I wanted to copy from here, I could use the keyboard shortcut for copy, command C. Keyboard shortcut for copy, command C. And now another keyboard shortcut I like to go scroll through the open programs is command tab. And that's how I can get back to Chrome. So command tab will scroll through my programs, hold down command tap tab so that I can return to my last program Chrome and then paste in whatever I saved and that will be command V. It's a great way to do that there. Now, another really useful function is the keyboard shortcuts for taking screenshots. You can take full screenshots, partial screenshots, and you can save them to your desktop or to the clipboard for pasting into an email, for example. And let's take a look at the shortcut for taking a partial screenshot and pasting it into an email, for example. Here's the keyboard shortcut for taking a partial screenshot that is saved to your clipboard, which is really good for pasting into an email. Now this looks kind of complicated and like it won't be very comfortable for your hand, but you might find that your fingers get used to these patterns and do them easily. So it's going to be command, control, shift, and then four. And what that does is it gives you this little pointer icon that allows you to select whatever you want to select here can select my project for example and then you'll hear a little click that says the picture was taken and then I can go up to my email message here paste it in and and then it would be a great way to send this um, to a coworker. so those are some of my favorite keyboard shortcuts if you want to check out more, just do a search for Mac keyboard shortcuts and you can go to this support.apple.com link and this will take you into the Apple published keyboard shortcut list. And as I scroll down through here, you can see there are so many and you might find that if there's something you do a lot, if you take a look at this keyboard shortcut page, there might be an easier way to do it. All right. Happy keyboard shortcutting.